The quest that leads unfailingly to exceptional men and women, the best of the best, who have earned the respect of their peers, the trust of their clients and the loyalty of those whom they lead. This is the quest for Asian Private Bankers, Private Banker of the Year. He was at the helm when his bank won the award for Best Private Bank Asia twice. He has demonstrated relentless productivity and efficiency and his singular focus on clients is indicative of his ability to deliver on both quantitative and qualitative measures. You've been a good friend and a colleague and I know that you've made significant contribution to the growth of Singapore as a wealth management center. Uh, looking forward, Credit Suisse is leaning on you to produce all the wealth, all the new net new money coming from Asia. On being the Asian private banker for the year, all I can say I'm a big fan of yours and as a previous winner of the award, I must admit that you are setting the bar a little too high for the others to follow. I'm very happy to be here tonight because it's very long due. Francesco is a great banker, is a very big source of inspiration for a lot of people in our industry. I'm very happy about the people who were before him uh, awarded the Private Banker of the Year. But I think this time it's the right time for Francesco to get it. So Francesco, bravo! Francesco has done a great job uh, helping us to all raise the standards for the industry um, in, in the ways dealing with clients, the ways investing for the long term, the ways training bankers. Uh, he's really making sure that uh, you know the industry is in, in good shape. Congratulations, Congratulations. Francesco.